After the tender for procurement of three units of 20 by 8 multi-touch screen large area display for the Tejas Mark II program, the DRDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has invited online bids for the manufacturing of prototypes for power takeoff shaft for the Tejas Mark II fighter jet, under a two-bid system that includes a techno-commercial bid and price bid. The power takeoff shaft assembly system acts as a mechanical link between the engine and aircraft mounted accessory drive, and is a very critical part of the aircraft, as failure of this shaft will cut off all the hydraulics and other controls to the aircraft operation, which can further lead to the loss of the aircraft. The DRDO and Larsen and Tubro have also started collaboration on the nearby air-launched subsonic cruise missile, that will have a range of 1000 km and speed of 0.7 Mach. The airframe will be made of glass fiber and carbon fiber reinforced polymer, and will feature four actuated fins that are controlled individually by the flight computer. It will have a fuselage-mounted scoop-type air intake, that allows capture of clear free stream air flow away from the fuselage, which will make it less sensitive to the angle of attack. The DRDO is also working on the 1,500 km ranged indigenous long-range land attack cruise missile, and the Indian Air Force is likely to induct the ground-launched version of the LRLACM before the air-launched version, that will have improved aerodynamic configuration and a booster with thrust vectoring capability at the initial launch stage, and it will fly most of its flight at subsonic speeds, but will perform a supersonic sprint in the terminal approach to the target, which will considerably reduce the reaction time for the enemy defense systems. At a time when China is planning to produce around 1,000 Y-20 military transport aircraft, experts have said that the development of such transport aircraft makes sense for India, as the US has stopped production line of C-17, and purchasing more improved version of IL-76 aircraft will also lead to serviceability and maintenance issues. India could take the same Tejas development model for manufacturing a transport aircraft in which engines can be sourced from foreign manufacturers, and can indigenously develop other components like fuselage and wings. China also used the same strategy, and uses the Russian solo FD-30 engines that are used on the IL-76 aircraft, and now China is also developing an indigenous WS-20 engine to replace the present Russian engines. The Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur has conducted successful development trial of a gasoline-powered helicopter drone at an altitude of 11,500 feet, that have been developed in collaboration with Endure, and it can carry a weight of 5 kg for long endurance surveillance. They are also working on another version which will be battery-powered, that can reach more heights, and it will be ready by July 2021. IIT Kanpur has also tested and proven the capability of the Navic non-linear autopilot helicopter drone, that has the unique ability to fly upside down and maneuver aggressively, and can be used in both reconnaissance surveillance and rescue missions. Hackers working for the Chinese government have used a new malware called Port Door, to infiltrate the systems of Russia's Rubin Central Design Bureau, that designs submarines for the Russian Navy. The Chinese hackers sent to spear phishing email specifically crafted to interest the general director of the company into opening a malicious document which had a description for an autonomous underwater vehicle. The Saudi Space Commission is setting the terms of an initial agreement between Saudi Arabia and India on space cooperation, and the Memorandum of Understanding will involve cooperation on the peaceful use of outer space for science and technology by the space agencies of both the countries.